It's an interesting case of uh, Asian, uh, Southeast Asian nose. You see the patient has got marked settling, wide round tip, wide aerial base, round nostrils, and uh, mild to intermediate settling. So I hope you enjoy this augmentation rhinoplasty. Thank you. So again, the first step is to identify the tip defining point, which is compatible with the highest point of the tip, the highest point of the tip, where the intermediate cross meets the lateral cross there. So this is the junction between the intermediate and lateral cross. This is the medial cora there, intermediate cora and lateral cross. So, and we will mark from inside the junction. This is clear there. You can see the junctions there between the intermediate and the lateral cross. So the principle of the technique is to leave the lateral cross alone. Don't bore, don't steal. No marginal incision, no delivery, no exposure of the lateral cross. Again, looking at the junction between the lateral cross and the intermediate cross, leave the lateral cross alone. So we start with, now first step is to obtain a septal graft. Get into the right plane. Once you are in the right plane, everything will go easy and quickly. Backward, downward, upwards. We already elevated the left bicondylar tab, and you can see the cartilage inside. And now we get, give me the sector. We get access to the right bicondylar flap. Again, we are on the right plane, as you see, and it's going backward upward, downward, very easily because we are on the right plane, no bleeding. So you know the cartilage is very nicely in the middle, within maybe two minutes, as you see now. And now we need a good graph, so we go about 1.5 centimeter below the dorsum septum, and we are 1.5 centimeter behind the caudal septum, and we try to get a quiet, we want a good graft because we need a dorsal graft, we need a columnar strut, we need maybe tip or double tip graft. So hopefully it's enough nice cartilage for the dorsum, for the columella, for the tip. And we already left 1.5 centimeter of the coda septum, 1.5 centimeter intact from the dorsum septum. The patient got nice cartilage because she is young age, she's about maybe 21 years old. So she has got a nice cartilage, a piece of cartilage. It's enough nice you now the intact, intact flap inside and the intact flap in the other side. So now we start our rhinoplasty, intact cartilage incision. We go junction between the silver skin and mucosa. And this is see the midline, we are only one centimeter away from the midline. So keep all the lateral intact. Again, one centimeter away from the midline and keep all the lateral intact. So we are working mainly, as you see, on the midline, mainly on the midline. And now we make exact pocket because in case we need to put a graft at the end, most likely it is Asian nose. So it's going to have need a dorsal graft. So make exact pocket, not make it wide. Exact pocket in, in order to reduce significantly the possibility of floating and the graph displacement. Okay. Now we try to reduce slightly the subalar funnus by trimming the curvature, curvature of the abogatal cartilage. So let us look at the all this small piece of cartilage, get the mucosa down, get the mucosa away as you see. Get the mucosa away. And we trim a small portion of the... So keep the abogatal cartilage with full continuity with the dorsum septum. When you trim the curvature of the abogatal cartilage from this area to reduce the fullness. 
and we go do the same with the other side. Get this mucosa down. So preserve the mucosa as much as you can in order to make the recovery very speedy. And then excite small motion of the curved part of the abogatal keeping the abogatal cartilage with full continuity with the dorsum septum. Let's remove this small piece removed from this area from here. Okay. Now we start our tibialasty. We go to the intermediate crust to get to this area here. Give me the knife. So we're going to operate mainly in the midline on this area. We leave the rectal crust alone. So we hold the medial cora and we'll be looking like this, you see now. So this is the crust, we leave it alone, looking at the intermediate cora and dividing the intermediate cora from medial to lateral, reserving the rim cartilage. And we'll do the same on the other side, marking bin. So this is the junction between the intermediate crust and the lateral crust. The lateral crust is left alone, and we'll be dividing the intermediate cora from medial to lateral. As you see, reserving the rim of the cartilage and delivering now this cephalic portion of the intimate cura to one side, and this cephalic portion will augment the medial cura and contribute for the tip projection and elevation. So both intimate cura now are delivered to one side and remove this connective tissue from the middle and tardomal area. I will hold the medial cura on the other side and then we'll go in between and make a nice pocket. Nice pocket. Okay, there. Okay, let's see. We'll go to our graft. First of all, we need to preserve our dorsal graft. So this is our dorsal graft there. We'll make sure it's okay. And then we we'll just cut this one. All right. And then we need now a nice tip graft and a columnar strut. So this is the tip graft now. And this is the columnar strut. So the columnar strut will go in place between the two middle cola. Let me goes, goes. Okay, there was a small piece of hair. Okay. And now we suture this three structures together, the intermediate cora to the columnar strut. Creating strong structure in the midline of conjoined intermediate to middle cora supported by Columnar strut and tip graft. So strong foundation in the midline of conjoined intermediate to medial cura supported by columnar strut and tip graft. It's very important to reduce the possibility of dog ear in this area. Okay, sharp scissor again. Sharp scissor now, remove any sharp edges. Okay. And then clean the columnar leaves. We make now another bucket along the caudal end of the middle of the cura for the tip graft. We have our tip graft. It's a nice tip graft. We'll go there. We'll be sutured to the two medial end of the intermediate core. The same level. Don't go higher. So stay with the same level. So 
So this is very important step of the procedure, vital step, the columnar strand and the table graft in order to achieve adequate tip projection. Stretch the columella, tip elevation, tip projection, and rotation if required. Sharp scissor again. So we have now nice strong structure of the midline of conjoined intermediate to middle core supported by columnar strut and table graph. So we push the structure now back to a to the midline. You see now, now already we have nice tip projection and nice tip elevation. And let us look at the other cross because we still have some supraalar fullness there. We need to reduce it. Also, we did oblique down division. You see, we left the tire class alone, no marginal incision, no exposure, and we did not deliver the tire class. We kept it alone to suppose the alar side wall. The patient has got a thick skin out of skin. You see, with this Chinese origin and African, there is no much cartilage. That's why you have to preserve the cartilage. Don't borrow or steal any part of the tire class. Just reserve the cartilage, because it has got a little cartilage and out of skin. So if you remove the cartilage, after a few months, everything will collapse in. That's why I mean, you have to preserve free the other class. Now, before we, we do more tip definition and refinement now with the tip with the spanning so shine, now we try to augment the dorsum first. Give me progesterone elevator. So I will just scratch the progesterone from the bone because this is the steps in order to reduce floating, the first step is to make an exact pocket. Second step is to reverse the barriostium to enable the cartilage to, to heal with the barriostium. And this will reduce the mobility of the graft. The patient has got also like supra tip, you see supra tip collapse there. So that's why I, I made here two pieces. Let me sharp this up. And I have another piece there, which I'm going to augment, also make it like double graft at the end to augment the subjective area. Give me the scissor and suction. So I made double graft. No, okay, come here, I come here. And the go up from side face. When you are close to the face. When you are close to the patient's face. It keeps away from the patient face, please. Come come here. Come this way. Okay. So making double graph in this area where I'm going to at the subrati because the patient has got might collapse. One more suture. Okay. I go from this side here. Yeah. From this side and side. So this is double graft near the subra tip because I want to augment the dorsum and augment more this subra tip area. So I'll double graft, give me fascia also. So to be nice, I'll give me sharp scissors. Get rid of any sharp edges. Okay, now two forceps. So it should be a nice graft now to sit there and double in this area to cover, to camouflage this subra tip. And also we cover the graft with uh, fascia lata, homograft fascia lata, in order to fix the graft in the place more and increase, increase slightly the bulk of the graft. 
and fix it more in place so it will heal in the right place. This is will reduce significantly the use of fascia lata will reduce significantly the graft mobilization. It is good. We have now got a nice graft to go there in place and give me some scissors. I just remove this sharp edges from there, from there, okay. then two small steps. So we have a nice septal graft, double at the end there to camouflage the sobra tip collapse, my collapse which present some debris of situation as you see there okay and then we try to push the graft now in the place let me move it on we soak the graft with some bovidon can you take the photograph please take photograph that's what we do today we take photograph usually before we insert the graft so to keep it in the patient file for medical legal Okay, and then now we will just push the draft in place. As you see now, if you look from my from side view, see very nice, extremely nice tip. I saw the dog some rejection. We achieved after we push the graft in place, you see, I'm not able even now able to mobilize the graft because the graft is stuck inside very tight pocket. We evaded the brustium, we rub the graft with fascia lata. All this will help to stabilize the graft in the midline. Okay. Okay. This is the graft there. I will just suture it in the midline. See the graft, you can see it. Give me suture again. Try to suture it in the midline just to make sure it will stabilize, it will not move. You see, you have double the graft here. Okay, go up, go up. Sector. This is fine. This sector makes sure the graph in place. You see now. You see how much nice tip projection. How much the columella being extended up. You see it was columella, columella was quite short, and the tip was quite wide. It wide. It defined. And you see now before even we do the spanning suture, how much stretching of the columella we achieved how much uh, tip projection we achieve now. Very nicely stretch columella, nice tip projection, the tip that blend nicely with the dorsum. Now, in order to reduce more the sobra tip, furnace give more tip definition, we do the spanning suture, the letter cross approximating suture. You see, we fully preserve the letter cross. We did not borrow, we did not steal any part of the letter cross, and with no marginal incision, no exposure. And now we go through our uh, you see now very nice edge to edge 
su disceptor, anterior septal angle, as you see, anterior septal angle, and when they will go to the lateral cross, you can add the lateral cross, you see, and we just small bite in the mid motion. And it will go back to the other side through the superior septal angle. And see now the effect of the suture by giving more, more uh, reducing the subraelar subra -alar fullness, as you see. And we do the same on the other side. We hold the lateral cross and we go to the codon, if I make the lateral cross, and we make small bite there. Small by there. And you see now the effect again with the suture here. You see the effect of the suture there, reducing the superalar fullness. And then we, you, you can make your note now, but in order to give equal tension on both sides, I go through and screw again the superior septal angle. Okay. And now and you will see now the great difference between before we transformed an Asian nose to a very natural normal looking nose. Looking tip, looking nostrils, dorsum. A massage to the tip just to relax it slightly after your suture and everything is embraced as a sector. There is nothing kinking, nothing folding. Okay. And look now as the look from down. Look how much, look at the big difference now between this view, this view now, the nice tip definition refinement, nostril, the base, and look at this view, the big difference, and look from up and see how much tip definition, refinement, and now we achieved with, with full preservation of the lateral cross, as you see now. How much now, almost half size as, as before. Look at this round, ill-defined tip, the thick skin. You see how much, how much definition and refinement you already achieved. Also from the profile view, you see the nicely projected now dorsum for our, our dorsal regard at this saddling, saddling with supra tip collapse also. Saddling, uh, bony saddling and cartilaginous, more cartilaginous saddling, supra tip collapse. Okay, now, Last step of the procedure is to do the nostrils and I wish the section. So with Mark and Ben now doing the and I wish the section. Again, we stay inside the fold. Don't go lateral, don't exceed past this point. With your finger press there and look at this angle here formed and connect lateral to median and mark your first suture. Again, Stay inside the fold. Don't go beyond this point. Breast, look at this angle there. The Bizra technique for a language resection. I know some surgeons now recently try to claim they are doing it. After they have seen my technique, they should have really, they should confess it is mine. This is the honesty of science. You should not claim to yourself something that you have not done before. Okay. So we start now with the incision. They are calling the finger technique. They should refer to me. 
it's the worst, well, the worst thing in science try to steal is the ideas as a technique of somebody else and the it to yourself. Anyway, the date of our videos are very clear to show that we are the first people who in invented this technique. Full sickness, you see edge to edge clean, clean, edge to edge as you see. Now, sub criticism. Sub criticism. What was this one? What? Uh, okay. So, sub criticism as in full sickness. Last not you see edge to edge very nicely. But I don't like to say this. Very nice. Edge to edge as you see, it's really not true. Nicely. Okay, edge to edge, and we do the other side. Full sickness again. And full sickness here. You see, edge to edge. Edge to edge, as you see. Edge to edge, semi-cuticular. Wait, wait, let me see. Okay. Wait, it's going slightly. Small bite at the end, and now you're already being done. So, almost done now. Full septoinoblasty, obtaining septal graft, full teblasty, oblique dome division, coromelar strut, tib graft. So trying the tip, those are the graft, rubbing with fascia lata, smiling suture at the core, approximating suture, bilateral ala ridge, resection, full rhinoblasty, full augmentation rhinoblasty, and this is the time now. You see, 29 minutes, less than 30 minutes. This is the magic. A future rhinoblasty. This is how 
rhinoplasty, acute shark surgeon, it's the technique they will go for. Bayer surgeons will soon realize why we go for open approach, why we spend two, three, or even four hours doing rhinoplasty if we can do it and achieve our goals in 30 to 45 minutes. So let us review, review the case again. Review the case again now. The very wide, the Asian nose, Southeast Asian nose, a very wide, ill-defined round tip with thick skin. As you see, short columella, round nostrils, wide alar base, settling with more subrative collapse, bone settling and subrative collapse. And you see now, using the patient on septal graft with fascia lata, we achieved a very nice dorsum projection. We treated the subrative and the we treated the body collapse and the subrative collapse. We used double graft at this area, single graft, graft with fascia lata, exact pocket, and look how much improvement we achieved from the basic view, how much the tip narrowing, definition, refinement, and the columella stretched very nicely up, very nicely stretched columella, and you see how much tip narrowing and refinement we achieved, the tip almost less than half size of the tip before with the more definition, refinement, and narrowing, and very straight dorsum. If you look again from my side view, so how, you see how nicely the columella being stretched, nice knees, there will be an angle, nice double break, and that's the tip that blend nicely with the, with the dorsum. So this, I'll just say this is the future rhinoblasty, future magic rhinoblasty by Bashar Bizra Rhinoblasty Bizra Academy. Uh, thank you for watching. So you say this is 30 minutes job, and you see 30, 31 minutes job. You see now how much, you see how much, how much, how much symmetry which tip will give you nice symmetry and very strong alar sidewall. We did not, we did not expose the lateral cast, no marginal incision, no exposure, no delivery. We did not bore or steal any part. We only approximated the lateral cast. We did not trim any portion of the kefir lateral cast. We only approximated the lateral cast. So we kept a very strong cardiac structure in both sides to support the alar sidewall. And we have a very strong foundation in the midline. Now uh, we take photograph before we, we finish the procedure. Take photographs. This for me, the colleague. And can you take this mobile also to have to send to the patient? Maybe the patient mother want to see the little, so we take also photograph with mobile and send to the patient family. Okay. Before the COVID, we used to do all our cases under local and sedation since 1999. Now with the COVID, we are doing the slight GA. All right, we spray the nose now. Move gently. Okay. We get the sponge. There's a graft very tight in the middle, very tight because we made exact pocket. We made exact pocket. We elevated the boyostium. Okay. Now just fix, make sure the graft is fixed at least for one week where this needed. See, I'm going through the graft now. I can feel it. It's removed after one week. Again. through the skin and the graft, just in case. Also, I'm sure it will not move even without this, but just for more security, for one week only, just in case. You have to be thorough with your work and cut any chances of any displacement or movement of the graft in the first few days affect your final results.
dry goes. So you're almost done now. Full, full rhinoplasty, full augmentation rhinoplasty, skin to skin with dressing in 35 minutes. Magic future, magic future rhinoplasty. Bashar Bizra, Rhinoblasty, Bizra Academy. Thank you.